Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my Chicago yoga space. I've been away for a while and now we're back. So my name is Daria. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Today's yoga practice is the last video of 2021 and this class is called All Wrapped Up. So it's kind of a more reflective, softer, sweeter kind of flow and we'll be taking a look at 2021 broadly, reflecting on it and then also setting some intentions and resolutions moving ahead into 2022. Before we jump into class today, I just want to say genuinely thank you to all of you who have supported my channel this year, who have practiced with me or left me a comment or reached out in some way. That really means a lot to me and I am so appreciative for all of your support, so thank you. For this class today, all you'll need is yourself and a space to move and whenever you're ready, let's get into it. We'll start today in Sukhasana, an easy seat. So find your way here, or if it's more comfortable for you, you're welcome to sit up on your knees. That's a great option too. Bring your thumbs and your index fingers to connect. Let your other three fingers relax and then softly land the backs of your palms to your thighs. Close your eyes and take a few moments here to drop inward. Let your breath slow and deepen so that it fills up the full container of your torso. And you might start to feel the breath moving along the back line of your body, moving along your spine like a wash as you breathe in from your tailbone through the crown of your head. And then let it fall and rinse back down that same channel on the exhale from crown of head back into your sitting bones and into the earth. And as the breath slows, allow the thoughts to slow as well. So any swirling or chaotic thoughts that are moving through your mental space, breathe into them and notice that you might begin to feel a little calmer, a little more settled and grounded here. Allow yourself to feel for a moment the force of gravity. Feel your pelvis really anchoring down into the earth beneath you. Let your knees fall wide and try to release any holding or gripping in your psoas, the fronts of your hips or the outer parts of your hips as well. So the knees fall freely open. And the seat becomes spacious and then the spine elongates through the crown of your head. And take a couple more breaths here for you to settle into this space of more calm, this more introspective space. Noticing any sensations, any thoughts as they arise and allowing them to flow on the stream of your breath without becoming attached to anything, any stories, any expectations, any judgments. And let's all take a big inhale together. So breathe in through your nose, fill up your full body with bright air. Take a big sigh out of your mouth, soften your shoulders down your back and allow something to leave your body. You can imagine like dark smoke leaving through your mouth. And begin to blink your eyes open. Release your hands. Take an inhale to sweep your fingertips out to the side and then all the way up overhead. Lift your gaze and connect your palms. As you exhale, draw your thumbs to meet at your heart center, palms pressed together and feel your own touch. Feel left hand and right hand meeting and all the points of connection between your two hands. And you can close your eyes again if that feels good and take one more moment here to set an intention for your practice. Blink your eyes open. We'll find our way to hands and knees, all fours. So shoulders stack over your wrists, spread your palms and your fingers really wide and then root down into all four corners of your hands so you're nice and locked into the earth here. 
And begin to tip your tailbone up toward the sky, soften through your low belly, and then engage your back body to stretch your heart to the top of the mat and lift your gaze, cow. As you exhale, drop your tailbone down toward the backs of your knees, carve through your front body to round your back and then drop your head, chin toward chest. Inhale, cow, stretch your heart to the top of the mat, widen your inner thighs back behind you and then pull your hands toward the fronts of your thighs. As you exhale, press the earth energetically down between your palms. Drive into the space between thumbs and index fingers as you relax the back of your neck. Good, a couple more rounds of cat cows. Inhale, arc your heart to the top of the mat. Exhale, press the earth away. Puff up the back of your heart toward the sky. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Tuck your toes behind you, press into your palms, reaffirm the connection between all 10 of your fingertips and the mat beneath you, and then begin to glide into downward facing dog. Take your time in getting there. And now explore and play. Notice what downward facing dog feels like in your body today. Let your hands and your feet become curious and constantly deeply rooting. You can pedal one foot and then the other, stretching the backs of the legs, breathing into the hamstrings. And then begin to revolve your biceps forward and your triceps back. Notice how this really helps you to anchor more deeply into your palms with the external rotation of the shoulder blades. You can feel more stable with these actions. Then keep a micro bend in your knees and try to press your heart toward your thighs. Take an inhale here, lift your heels, round forward to high plank, hug your belly toward your spine. As you exhale, lower chaturanga, bend your elbows in towards your rib cage, lower down halfway, then melt your pelvis, your heart and your chin to the mat, lowering all the way down to your belly. And from here, step your fingertips out to the wide edges of your mat and press them down so that you can create like a tenting action with the center of your palms. Take an inhale to press into fingertips and toenails and press your hips down and then ripple your spine up into cobra. Stretch your heart to the top of your mat and then as you exhale, sweetly lower back down. Two more like that, rolling cobra. Inhale, rise, the hips are heavy, the heart is light. Exhale, softly release. And last time, inhale, swell. Feel like a fountaining effect from your low belly all the way up through your heart and beyond. And then exhale and release. Plant your palms beside your ribs, tuck your toes, and then press your hips back towards your heels, but stay active. So your heart is reaching for the top of your mat and the palms are digging down. And as you inhale, round your way forward into a hands and knees position, curling your belly up towards your spine. And then exhale, glide back, downward facing dog. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Inhale, lift your heels, round forward, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga, option to lower to knees if that feels better for you. And then release your pelvis, he heavy hips, and your heart and your chin to the mat. Untuck your toes, spider your fingertips out wide. As you inhale, rise to cobra. Exhale, softly release back down, belly melts toward the earth. Inhale, rise. Exhale, release. Let your spine be really liquid. Last time, inhale, rise. Lift your heart, lift your gaze. Exhale and release back down. Plant palms beside ribs. Tuck your toes. Press back so your hips glide toward your heels. It's like a cow shape in the spine, creating an arch here as the heart reaches forward. And then as you inhale, create a cow shape, rounding forward to your hands and your knees. And on the exhale, ride it back to downward facing dog. Take one breath in and one breath out. 
Inhale, lift your heels, ripple forward, high plank. Exhale, lower, chaturanga, elbows, skim your rib cage, then release pelvis, heart, and chin to the mat. Untuck your toes, fingertips step wide. Inhale, cobra, press all 10 toenails down. Exhale, release. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sink back down. Inhale, wash the breath up through your full front body, creating more expansion, more lift, and this time we'll pause. So keep a micro bend in your elbows. Again, spin your biceps forward and your triceps back. This helps to draw the shoulder blades together behind you. Feel a lifting action through your very lowest belly as the hips get heavier toward the mat. One more little inhale, suck in just a bit more air as you lift your heart. And then exhale to release everything back down to the mat. Plant your palms, tuck your toes, press your hips back towards your heels, reach your heart to the top of your mat, exhale here. Inhale, round through, hands and knees, and exhale, glide back, downward facing dog, lift your tailbone high, sitting bones widen. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose, press the earth more energetically down through your palms. Take an inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. As you exhale super slowly, step one foot at a time up to the top of your mat. So try to go really, really slow and articulate each step forward. So the heel lands and then the ball of the foot, then the big toe mound, and then all five toes individually. Moving in this way, we can cultivate more sensitivity to really understand all the aspects of the experience. When you reach the top of the mat, draw your feet together to touch and then fold over your thighs. Let your spine be like a waterfall, dropping effortlessly toward the earth. As you inhale, shift more weight into your heels. Lift your toes so they come away from the mat. You can keep the fingertips rooted. Then hug your inner thighs together. Begin to ripple up sequentially through your spine, finding Utkatasana chair pose. So the hips are sinking low and back. The heart stays stretching high and the fingertips rise, biceps beside your ears. Squeeze your low belly back and then up, like it's pulling towards your heart. And can you sink just a bit deeper? Good. Now, inhale, shift forward into your toes, lift your heels, keep squeezing your inner thighs together, steady your gaze, and then see if you can begin to sink all the way down so that your hips are moving toward your heels and maybe you sink all the way there. Draw your palms to meet in front of your heart. You can stay with the knees together or widen them if that feels good for you. If you become unsteady or if the balance falters, that is okay. It's okay to feel off balance sometimes, even if it's a little uncomfortable. Take an inhale, sweep your fingertips high. On your exhale, re-anchor your heels to the mat and just sweetly fold forward. Inhale, chair pose, sink weight low and back into your heels and then reach your fingertips all the way skyward. One more little breath here to sink deeper. Inhale, exhale, eagle. Right arm threads under the left elbow and then the right leg threads over the left. Try to squeeze your inner thighs together. Right toes can kick stand or maybe go for the full wrap by threading the right toes behind the left calf. And once again, find a steady point to focus your gaze. Stretch your elbows and your knees away from each other. So the hips are sinking lower. And then the elbows are reaching higher, like your fingertips are being pulled up toward the clouds. Inhale. As you exhale, keep your arms as they are. Unwind your legs, unthread right from left. Then stretch your right toes back behind you as you dig down into all four corners of the left foot. Warrior three with eagle arms. Right toes stretch back. The crown of your head reaches forward. Breathe here, don't forget to breathe. Big inhale. As you exhale, bend deeply into your left knee and start to step your right toes as far back behind you as they'll go, turning them out at 45 degrees as you transition. 
Inhale, rise up to stand. Squeeze your legs together so the left leg draws straight. Untwist your arms and reach your fingertips up toward the sky. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, fold forward over your left thigh. Pyramid pose. You can adjust your stance if you need. And the right toes are turned out at about 45-ish degrees. And then anchor into the knife edge of right foot as you press your left heel and your left big toe mound down and forward. Always an option to bring blocks under hands or fingertips for more elevation away from the earth. And let's take a ripple through the spine here. So as you inhale, it's like a rounding action first, pulling your low belly in and up and then stretch through your spine so your tailbone reaches back and the crown of your head reaches forward. On the exhale, bow heart toward left toes. And we'll stay and breathe here for a few more rounds of breath. Come back to steady, slow, deep inhales and exhales. And then imagine that your body is unwinding. That every time you breathe out, some little bit of tension is melting away. Opening space. Take an inhale, halfway lift here. As you exhale, crawl your fingers, all of your fingers, <laughs> between your legs. We're gonna bend deeply into the right knee, spinning on the feet to find Skandasana. Low side lunge, bending into the right knee. The left toes flex. Now here, pull your feet together to create more activity in the posture. Rather than passively just sinking into the joints, create that action. Press your palms together at heart center. Once again, breathe. Feel the softening effect of the breath. Begin to glide all the way back to the top of your mat. Bend into your left knee. Root your right palm. Then sweep your left fingertips all the way up toward the sky. Easy twist. Magnetize your feet toward each other to create an inflation, a lift through your pelvis. Stay really charged through the right thigh like it's lifting up. And then take your gaze to follow the left fingertips as you twist and open your heart just a bit deeper. And release all of your fingertips back down to the mat and then sink your right knee down. As you inhale, sweep your fingertips up on Janayasana, kneeling warrior. As you exhale, bring your hands to interlace on top of the left thigh. Release your palms or release your thumbs and then let them spin downward toward the mat. As you inhale here, squeeze your feet toward each other. Press your palms down into your left thigh, almost like you're pressing it forward. Then begin to create an arc through your spine, lifting up and back. Gentle little back bend here. And if you start to feel crunching in the low back, you've gone too far. Take one more inhale. Exhale, rise all the way back up, release. Step your palms forward of your left toes. Pick up your right knee and then just softly step your right foot to the top of your mat for a forward fold. Take an inhale here to iron all of that out in a halfway lift, and then an exhale to fold forward. Inhale, chair pose, sink low, weight your heels, and then reach your fingertips all the way up toward the sky. Begin to shift forward into your toes so your heels can lift. Pull your inner thighs together and then stay steady with your gaze as you begin to sink lower and lower and lower. How slow can you go with this transition down? I'm like the slowest elevator in the world. Stay here or widen your knees as you bring your palms to meet in front of your heart. Take a big inhale here, elongate your spine. On your exhale, plant your palms and softly fold forward over your thighs, drawing the legs back towards straight. Inhale, Utkatasana, reach up, sink low. Exhale, Eagle, the left elbow threads under the right, left leg crosses up and over. Try to squeeze everything toward the midline. So your belly's hugging your spine, your elbows are squeezing together, your inner thighs are squeezing together. Almost like you're trying to strangle your right leg with your left. Squeeze that tight. 
Sink lower than you think you can. Steady your gaze. Good. Begin to unwrap and then keep your arms as they are as you stretch your left toes toward the back of the mat. Warrior three. Belly is hugging the spine as you transition. Now elongate here. Stretch infinitely back through the left toes and infinitely forward through the crown of your head. Breathe in. Breathe out, bend your right knee and softly step your left toes to the back of your mat, angling them at 45 degrees. Align your feet, root the knife edge of, life, of left foot, squeeze your inner thighs together, right leg draws towards straight, unwrap your arms and reach your fingertips up toward the sky. Inhale here. As you exhale, cast your heart forward and bow down, pyramid pose. So here, there's an action of pulling the outer right hip back and the left hip is drawing forward. You can imagine that your feet are on opposite moving walkways. Your right foot is on one that's moving backward and your left foot is on one that's moving forward. So they're magnetized but moving in opposition. Take an inhale to reach back through your inner thighs. Reach forward through the crown of your head, elongate your spine. And then an exhale to bow into your depth. Try not to force anything. There is no perfect. There is no end destination. So be with the sensations. If you find yourself becoming distracted by an idea of what the shape should look like, close your eyes, go internally and really, really feel it. Last inhale here. Last exhale, stretch deeper. Take an inhale for a halfway lift through the spine. As you exhale, crawl your palms toward the left side of your mat, swivel on your feet so you can bend into the left knee and sink low for Skandasana, the right toes flex. Now here, the right heel is pulling toward the left heel. Palms meet in front of your heart. Take an inhale here, anchor your sitting bones down as the crown of your head reaches toward the sky. And an exhale to settle and soften anything that doesn't need to be working right now. Maybe the shoulders fall away from the ears. Maybe the face relaxes or the jaw or the tongue inside of the mouth. Begin to crawl your way back forward to a low lunge at the top of your mat, bending into the right knee. The left palm roots down and as you inhale, the right fingertips reach toward the sky. Pull your belly towards your spine and then create a twisting action. Again, the right hip's pulling back and the left hip is pulling forward as you open your heart. Take one more inhale. On the exhale, reground your palms to frame the right foot and sink your left knee down to the earth. Take an inhale to reach fingertips high, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, interlace your palms over the top of your right thigh. Now here, squeeze your feet together and then as you do so, simultaneously begin to melt your pelvis down and forward. Press into your right thigh and start to arc your heart up toward the sky. And try to avoid feeling too much sensation in your low back. You can activate the left glute and then curl your thoracic spine so the heart stretches toward the sky. Begin to release, rise back up, plant your palms down at the top of your mat, pick up your left knee and then step forward and fold. Widen your feet, hips distance apart. And we'll take Pada Hastasana. So lift your feet and then slide your palms under them so the palms of your hands and the soles of your feet can connect here and the toes are aligned with your wrist creases. You can wiggle the toes to gently massage the base of your palms and the wrists. Try to drop your head fully and allow everything to surrender forward. Even softening into your hip creases so the tailbone can stretch higher toward the sky. Undo the grip, lift your feet and release your palms. And then take an inhale for a halfway lift, stretch through your spine, elongate. 
On the exhale, fold forward again. Plant your palms and find your way back to downward facing dog. If you'd like to move through a vinyasa on your way there, go for it, clear the slate. Otherwise, we'll meet in down dog when you're ready. On your next inhale, sweep your right leg high to three-legged down dog. Don't worry about how high the leg reaches, but try to feel a nice stretch into the back of the left leg. Inhale here. As you exhale, set up for half pigeon. Right shin pulls to the top of your mat, align it, and then crawl your left toes back behind you. And try to feel like your right knee and your left knee are pulling a bit toward each other as you lift your heart and stretch your fingertips back. And then take an exhale to fold forward. And we'll stay here for several rounds of breath. Send your awareness to the sensation that you're feeling and allow the breath to wash away any stickiness, anything that has hardened, As we create more space, more mobility, and more flexibility, this translates also to off of our mats. And sometimes when we look at things at the micro level, when we're bogged down sort of in the day-to-day -day of progress, we don't notice all of the subtle changes, all of the little shifts in breaking down a barrier. These subtle changes and actions of softening add up over time until ultimately we can look back and we can see more concrete progress in some way, whether that's tangible or not. And so try to have patience here and recognize every little degree of letting go. Press into your palms and begin to rise back up. Anchor your palms down as you tuck the left toes and then step your way back to downward facing dog. As you inhale, sweep the left leg high. As you exhale, glide forward into half pigeon prep, left shin to the top of the mat. Take a moment to lift through your spine. Take a big full breath in all the way up to your heart and then let the exhale bow you forward. As you stay and breathe into the softening, into the opening on this side, I encourage you to take a moment to reflect on the full last year more broadly. What were you able to celebrate or accomplish? What were some of your tinier wins and some of your bigger ones? Were you able to stop and recognize them? Or was it more of achieving a goal and then immediately on to the next thing? What were some of the barriers, obstacles, challenges that you faced in the last year. And if any of them are unresolved, that's okay. Is there anything that you can consciously let go of to create more space through that barrier now? Take one last breath here, big full inhale. And direct the exhale right to the sensation you're feeling. Press down into forearms, rise to palms, tuck the right toes behind you, and then step back, downward facing dog. Sink both of your knees down to the mat, 
and then we'll come all the way down to lie on our backs. So however you want to get there. And you can step the feet forward to the top of your mat and take a slow ride of the exhale down to your back. Then pull your knees in towards your chest. We'll find happy baby. Stretch your soles of your feet up toward the sky, then reach for what's accessible and draw your knees down to the outer edges of your rib cage. Maybe grabbing for the shins or the ankles or inner or outer edges of the feet. And as you breathe here, let your back flatten toward the mat so the sacrum pulls toward the earth and the back of the head lands. Now let's play. So stretch the right leg out toward the side, drawing it straight-ish, and it might be extended up a little higher, or you might pull it down toward the earth, whatever feels good in your body without forcing or introducing unnecessary strain. And then switch. Left leg goes out wide, right knee or right heel pulls in toward your sitting bone. And draw both of your knees into your chest. Then lift your shoulder blades away from the earth and wrap yourself into a big squeeze. Pull your knees towards your chest. Take an inhale through your nose. Then breathe in a little more and a little more. Take a big exhale, sigh out of your mouth and find Shavasana. Stretch your feet to the corners of your mat. Open your palms up toward the sky and drop everything. As you stay and you rest here, imagine that anything that you don't need to carry with you into the rest of your day or into the next month or the next year to come, imagine that all of that residue is melting out of your body and into the earth beneath you. Feel the imprint that your body creates into your mat and continue settling down there, letting go of every muscle. Stay resting for a few more moments and I'll guide you out in a little bit. Begin to bring your awareness back to your breath, inhaling deeply and exhaling fully. And let the inhale fill you up with new and bright, fresh air. Take one last exhale here to continue dropping anything you don't need anymore. Then flicker movements back to fingers and toes. Maybe press your finger pads into each other. So thumb presses to each individual finger pad as you wake back up. And then on a big inhale breath, sweep your spine long so the fingers stretch behind you and the toes point forward. Grow longer and longer and longer, feeling so open and so expansive. And then on the exhale, roll into a fetal pose. Imagine that you're rolling out of the imprint of your body and leaving behind all of the residue that you've cleared that melted out of the back line. Now press into your palms 
and gently make your way back up to a seat just as we began Sukhasana. Feel the pelvis settle and get heavier as the knees widen. Bring your palms to your thighs. Take a big inhale here to stretch through your spine. And a big exhale just to settle and to feel. Draw your palms to meet in front of your heart. And now take some time to think about, to consider anything you'd like to bring with you from the last year, anything that you've worked really hard on, any accomplishments or areas of growth that you'd like to continue with. And then lastly, if you'd like, you can call to mind a word or a phrase or a mantra that you'd like to emulate going into the next year. Something that resonates with you, something that feels aligned with your goals and just overall internally aligned. And if you are having difficulty coming up with a word or a phrase, that's okay. Maybe you can tap into more of a feeling even if you can't name it. Take an inhale to seal in that word, phrase, or intention in whatever form it is. And just one last exhale, soften your shoulders and relax. And lift your thumbs to your third eye and bow forward. Namaste. Thank you so much for sharing this practice with me today, for taking time to reflect on the last year and also to set some clear intentions and sort of a direction or a path that you'd like to move forward on going into the next year. I hope you're doing really, really well. Again, thank you so much for all of your support and your love in the last year. I really appreciate it. If you're not already, you can subscribe to my channel down below and join this yoga community here on YouTube. But I hope that you're doing great and I hope you have a great rest of the day and happy New Year's Eve. I'll see you soon in another class. Bye.